Hey guys, it's Biggest AG Fan Ever here back again, and today I am going to be showing you guys five doll sized items that you can use for your American Girl dolls. Some of these items are DIY, and I will be showing you how to make them, and other items I am showing you guys where to get them and that they are super cute for your dolls. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first item I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make is this super cute no sew DIY face mask to keep your dolls safe during quarantine. So what you're going to need to make it is a napkin of some type, two hair elastics, and a paper clip. So to start off, you're going to take the napkin and you're going to fold it in half hot dog style, I guess. I never really know which way is which. But then you're going to take both ends and fold them in a third so that way they end up overlapping each other at the end. Then you're going to go ahead and unfold it so that way we can put the hair elastics on each side and you just want to put those over the crease and then refold it up and now you have your face mask. To get your doll to be able to wear it, we're going to use a paper clip to fasten around both ends of it, but you're going to start off by just fastening it on one end so that way it looks like this. And then when you go to put it on your doll, you just put it over their face and then you wrap it around the back and from the back you just hook the other hair elastic onto the paper clip and then it is safely secured onto your doll's face. If you want it to look even more realistic, you can put the hair elastics over their ears so that way it looks like this. Here's the finished product and as you can see it looks exactly like a real face mask and it was really easy to make as well. So this one is not a DIY but it actually inspired this entire video because I am a huge fan of Lush and if you didn't know you can get free samples from Lush. You literally don't even have to buy anything but the containers look exactly like the full size containers and they are the perfect size for your dolls as well. So if you want cute little Lush items for your dolls, even if you want to just use them as containers for food or anything, you can go to Lush and get any free sample that you want and they will give you this container for free and they are literally the perfect size for your dolls. So as you can see here, like I said before, they're the perfect size. So this is actually one that I have been using for a while now. My friend a long time ago gave me a box of yogurt covered raisins that was miniature for my dolls. And I never knew where she got them, but this year I found them at the store. And I also learned that if you use a packing peanut and you roll it really, really tiny, it can look just like the yogurt covered raisins and it'll look perfect with this set. Of course, you don't have to make them. You could just use the box on its own, but if you wanna make them, they are super cute and they are great for photo shoots or stop motions. So to make this adorable tub of movie theater popcorn, you need a small cup like a Dixie cup. You need more packing peanuts, or you can use cotton balls, I guess, too. You need markers for decoration and paper to make the logo. So to start off, we're going to rip the styrofoam and roll it into little popcorn sized pieces. Now they don't all have to be the same size because popcorn is not all the same size, but basically you just rip it and you roll it into a little ball to give a little bit of texture and there you have your piece of popcorn. 
Then you just repeat this until you feel like you have enough. Next, I decorated the outside of the tub of popcorn by drawing red lines and then cutting it out. I even drew this little cute design as well that I am going to put on my tub of popcorn. So I just wrapped it around the tub and then I used tape to tape it on. I used a clear tape and I wrapped it all the way around the entire container to give it a bit of a gloss. Then I crumpled up some pieces of paper and stuck them on the bottom so that way my popcorn didn't sink. And then I just lightly put the popcorn as best as I could on top to make it look as full as possible. And here are the results. You end up with a delicious looking tub of movie theater style popcorn for your dolls. This is another item that I made years ago and I've shown off on my channel before, but I've never shown you guys how I made it. So basically when you are done eating a bag of chips, and this can go for any item I guess, you can put it in your copying machine and you can set the magnification level to 30%. So basically what will happen is the item will print out 30% of the size of the actual item and you just print it out in color and there it is. So now you just go ahead and do the same thing for the back of the bag so that way you have both sides of the bag so that way you can make an actual bag of chips for your dolls. So with both of the front and back printed and cut out, you can make them glossy by using clear packaging tape. So to do this, I laid the tape sticky side up and then I put the printed out side down so that way it looks like that. And then I laid the other one as close as I could right next to it. And to make your bag of chips look full of chips, all I did was crinkle up a piece of scrap paper and put it inside and then I wrapped the front over the back and taped it down. I then used tape to seal up both the top and the bottom openings of the bag. And now after cutting off the excess tape, we have a finished bag full of chips. And it is the perfect size for your dolls. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope that you're able to use these adorable American Girl doll sized items in your American Girl doll house. If you guys enjoyed, please be sure to give this video a like and also don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell icon so you'll be notified every time that I upload. And don't forget to comment down below which item was your favorite. And also, don't forget to follow my Instagram. It is underscore biggest AG fan ever underscore. So you can see behind the scenes of all of my latest videos. And if you make any of these, you can tag me on Instagram because I'd love to see them. So that is it. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.